The Pope calls attention to two attitudes that are dividing the church and the world, aggressive forms of nationalism and radical individualism. He says it in his message for World Day of Migrants and Refugees. He warns that those to pay the highest price for this division are foreigners, migrants and the marginalized. The organizers of this World Day presented at the Vatican the Pope's message for this occasion, titled Towards an Ever Wider We, a way of overcoming individualism. But one way of highlighting the point is to honestly ask myself, have I ever spoken with or even listened to someone of that other faith? Do I, do I, in a sense, know what I'm talking about, or am I relying on images and slogans and hearsay? In this pandemic, we are all in the same boat. If we don't understand this, then we won't make it out of the pandemic. Take vaccines, for instance. If vaccines don't reach every part of the world, then we won't make it out of this situation. It doesn't make sense to think first of your own citizens only, and then everyone else. The Pope's message urges society to take advantage of the crisis, to build a future of justice and peace that leaves no one behind, and that the most Catholic attitude is one of striving to harmonize differences and respect everyone. I call them heroes, heroes of our communities, because they go to those existential peripheries as a concrete manifestation of the Lord's closeness and merciful love. The aim of the Church is to welcome, protect and promote all, knowing that human life and well-being are at risk, not national security. World Day of Migrants and Refugees will be celebrated on September 26th. To explain its objectives, the Vatican is preparing special content on its website with ideas to promote local and global initiatives.